Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or hi, if you are new. My name is Liz, thank you so much for clicking on my video today. Today I have a very interesting one, it's a very, like a neutral look with a pop of colour. Mint green of course. It's a very exciting look because I am doing this look to be involved in a collab basically on Instagram where we're doing the Don't Rush Challenge. So I'm doing it with a bunch of girls who I know off Instagram and we are collabing to do that video. So I will link that video down below in the description box as well as all of their amazing Instagrams so make sure to check out the description box. So before we begin this look please make sure to subscribe to my channel before we carry on. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it, make sure to comment down below any video suggestions or if you liked this look and yeah make sure to hit up my Instagram as well I'll put it on the screen by here and without further ado let's get into the video. Okay, let's please ignore the mess that's on my head, the bird's nest. But today I've got a kind of neutral look with a pop of colour. As you can see here, it matches my shirt. But today I have this look, very easy, very simple. We're going to be using the, oh, the Carnival XL palette from Be Perfect, of course. But first I'm going to do my base with the P. Louise base in 05. And firstly, I'm going to carve my eyebrows. Okay, I'm just going to zoom in a little bit. Just so you can see a little bit better then. The first shade I'm going to go into is Intuition, which is a nice deep brown shade. I'm going to focus this in the crease, but I'm not going to go too far into the inner corner. I'm going to make sure to blend those edges out as well. Just so we have a seamless blend for the next shade. Then I'm going to go into Hall, which is a great name. I'm just going to go slightly over that shade. And lastly, I'm going in with a basic, which is just going to help blend all of that together. And I'm going to repeat those steps again, just to darken up those shades. Okay, so now that, that is all blended, I'm just going to, I say that as she goes back in, to blend. Um, I'm now going to cut the crease, so we're going to do a half cut crease, but um, I'm going to go slightly higher. I have an eyelash on my chin. I'm going to go slightly higher so we can put the double cut crease in. Okay, so now I've cut the crease and I've taken off what was there. I'm going to now take the P. Louise Basic um, Base. And this is the shade Hint of Mint because we're going for a mint green shade today. I'm just going to put a little bit on the back of my hand and I'm basically going to go over where we took the base off. Okay, so I'm going to go on top of that with the shade Y though, which is a nice, it's kind of like a lighter mint green shade and it's gonna lighten the base which I kind of like. I'm just gonna pat that on so we don't move the base at all. Okay so now I'm gonna do the normal base and go back in with that and then obviously carve out a second base like on this eye. I'm gonna try not to look up as well because it will get the new base that we're going to put on onto the mint green shade so okay so I've done that I'm now going to go on top now with pillow talk which is a nice it's not white it's like a creamy shade 
I'm just going to go on top of that shade and pat, pat, pat away. Placing that on until we get a good, decent shade. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is the outer corner. So I'm going to take the same shades that we went in the crease with and apply them on the outer corner. So I'm going to go in with the darker one, Intuition first. And just lightly pat on that shade, not too much of that one. Then we're going to go into Hull and then lastly Basic. Okay, so now is the wing liner. I'm going to go back in with the mint green base, so the P. Louise base, and I'm going to take a really thin liner brush, really thin liner brush, and get a good amount of that on my brush, and I'm going to start on the inner corner. Don't be afraid to go thick with this as well, that's what I'm doing. Okay, so I've done the base, now I'm going to add the shadow on top, just because I want to set that in place. Okay, so I have learned whilst doing winged eyeliner, it really, really makes a difference when you use a really good brush. So I'm going to tell you what brushes I use you to create it. Create it. I used the Peaches and Cream brushes, same brand. Uh, I used the PC44 and the PC45. They're pretty much Sim very similar. The only difference is one is thinner and longer and the other one is a little bit chunkier. Hopefully you can see. So really makes a difference um, what brush you use. I used to hate doing winged eyeliner. Um, I still kind of do because it takes so long but it ends up looking so good so I get over it. Okay. So I'm just going to tidy up a little bit. So now on to face. So for my face, I'm going to keep it very simple, hopefully. Um, and it's just going to be mainly the eyes I'm going to be focusing on. So I'm going to first take primer. I'm going to take two. First I'm going to take the Colourpop All Star Matte Blur Primer, just in my T-zone. And then the NYX Honey Do Me Up Primer, which is going to hydrate to my skin. I look weird in this part it's because I don't want to crease my eyes so I might be looking like this for the whole video okay so next is these bits of hair I'm going to tuck behind for now okay next for foundation I'm gonna take two again bougie I know but anyway I'm gonna take the Too Faced Born This Way and the Jouy high coverage cream foundation just because this one is so good but it's not my shade it's very pale so it's in the shade pearl and then this one is a little bit too dark for me um it's in the shade nude but i'm gonna mix them together and get the perfect shade so i'm gonna first apply the foundation with a flat brush i just feel oh this brush is so soft um i just feel like it works well better when it's like smudged into the skin a little bit so it's like spread it a lot easily and a lot more around the face I'm gonna take a brush and just pat all that into my skin so how, how is everyone doing hope you're all well um, I haven't been up to much but size from videos and doing some makeup looks 
I haven't been doing a whole lot of stuff. If I haven't said already, this is a very fun video, well not video, I'm doing a fun video over on Instagram that I'm creating this look for and it's the don't rush challenge which I don't understand what that even means um, but I'm doing it with a bunch of girls who also have YouTube and Instagram and stuff and yeah I'll link their channels slash Instagrams down below for you to check out because they are gorgeous girls, so talented. And yeah, I'm excited to be, this is technically my first kind of collab sort of thing. So I'm excited to do that. I'm just gonna blend that out with a sponge. Get rid of the excess. But yeah, even though I'm doing that video, I really wanted to film this look anyway for my YouTube. I just created this look on a spot, on the spot, so. Hopefully it turns out okay. Has anyone got any tips for me about my forehead? So it's extra dry and all I can see is the like frown lines which is so annoying um, and I don't know why I have them. I wouldn't say I frown a lot. Um, that can be debatable but I don't know maybe because I'm smiling too much. Let me know if there's any like products maybe that can help. I know like maybe a smoothing primer can help with that, but I'm not sure. And it's like really dry, like really dry. But then I get spots on my forehead. Oh, I just can't win, guys. I just can't win. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with concealer. This is the L'Oreal. Oh, my belly just rumbled. The L'Oreal Infallible More Than Concealer in the shade Eggshell. Let me know, do you do your foundation first or like your base first and then concealer or do you do your eyes first and then concealer? Because I've been debating lately because I hate the fact that I gotta go around my eyes and like be careful about touching my eyes. It's so annoying. So I'm just gonna blend that concealer out with a sponge of course. Okay, now I'm going to add uh, cream bronzer. So I'm going to use the Revolution Fast Base Stick in F11. This is actually a foundation. But yes, you got it right. I'm using it as cream bronzer. It is quite a warm shade. I'm not going to add too much. Like I had a mistake of doing that in another video. You guessed it right. I'm going to be going in with a brush. If you want to know any brushes I use, then just comment below which one you want to know, and I will let you know. <sighs> Drink water, kids. Okay, so now I'm going to set my face, mainly my under eye and my chin and stuff, with the RCMA No Colour Powder. Okay, so now for bronzer, to set the bronzer, I'm going to take the MAC Minimize nice skin finish in medium dark. Okay, my battery is dying as per usual on my camera. So, I'm going to speed this bit up a little bit. For blush, I'm going to take the L'Oreal Life's a Peach blush and I'm just going to pop this on my cheeks and also my nose. I am going to quickly just spray my face with a little bit of MAC Fix Plus. Okay, so I'm going to go off camera, do the rest of my eyes and come back to do highlighter, lips and stuff like that. Okay, so I went and did my hair and also my eyes. All I did was popped on some Doll Beauty lashes in Eva and I also popped on the mint green base in my waterline and on my lower lashes just because and popped on some of the brown on my lower lash line. So now I'm going to go in with highlight. So I'm going to take the Doll Beauty highlight in uh, Like a Diamond which is this one here. I also popped that in my inner corner as well just to let you know.
Just an FYI as well, my hair is slightly wet because it goes nicer, like gets nicer curls when wet. Not as frizzy. So yeah. So the last thing to do is lips. So I'm going to take the MAC lip pencil in strip down. Then I'm going to take the Colourpop lipstick. I hope they've got it, fingers crossed, still on the website. Because I did buy it like quite a while ago. Uh, in the shade Boy, which is a very nice, quite a pale nude. And then maybe I'm going to pop some of the NYX lingerie lip gloss, the glitter one, um, which is clear on top. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so this is the final look. I really hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned a little bit from what I was doing maybe, or just got your mind off something. I don't know. But anyway, make sure you're subscribed to my channel down below. Hit the red button. Please like the video if you enjoyed it. Leave me a comment down below, any video ideas, or if you enjoyed my video. Stay safe, guys, and I will see you in my next one. Bye, guys. Oh,